So, you know, over the years we've seen an increasing number of publications in the space of wide field and ultra wide field imaging. And what's really missing has been a universally accepted definition for these terms. So, I presented a paper today at the ASRS uh, 2019 annual meeting discussing a roundtable consensus paper to define nomenclature and guidelines to help better define the terms wide field and ultra wide field imaging. I mean, that's really the biggest question we were trying to answer in our get-together, in our consensus meeting. I mean, presently, there's been a paucity of literature discussing sort of how to universalize these definitions. So we decided to look at it from the physician's perspective. When we walk into the clinic, we examine patients, we use anatomical landmarks to help determine where we are in the eye. So similarly, when defining wide field and ultra-wide field, our group came to the consensus that the terms wide field should be used when describing a single capture image focused on the macula that captures the retina up to and including the vortex vein ampullae in all four quadrants. And this is an anatomical landmark that physicians are familiar with and it's not anything unusual. Previously we've looked at degrees of field which is very mathematical and physicians don't really think in that capacity. When we talk about ultra wide field we felt that this should be a single capture image again centered on the macula which captures the retinal real estate up to and including and even beyond the vortex vein ampullae in all four quadrants. And this really helps to focus our efforts on anatomy and how it all links into the patient. So we actually, it was very challenging actually, of course, because we have many different devices that are excellent by many different manufacturers. And so we had a meeting, pre-meeting survey that was sent out with a series of retinal images, fundus photographs, OCTs, fluorescein angiograms, ICG angiograms, basically capturing every modality from a variety of the main vendors that provide these images. And we had a roundtable discussion after each physician took an effort to try to label what they were seeing. And after having much discussion, we came to a universal definition. So the consensus really is that we want to fundamentally look at retinal anatomy and use that as our defining landmarks when looking at these terms. And as I mentioned earlier, the wide field would be including a single capture image focused on the macula, up to and including the four, four vortex vein ampullae in all four quadrants. And ultra wide field would refer to a single capture image focused on the macula, including retina, everything beyond those four vortex vein ampullae. And this is really the consensus that we went for with respect to photography, autofluorescence, fluorescent angiography, and we also expanded upon this in our paper now published in Ophthalmology Retina for OCT and OCT angiography. So I think for patients what it is, it allows physicians to put together literature in the growing body of literature in this space where we are all speaking the same language. From a clinical trial perspective, we're seeing more and more integration of novel devices that are providing a wider field of view. So we're actually, again, universalizing the terms and the criteria for inclusion in said studies. And I think ultimately from a patient's perspective, as they themselves get enrolled in studies or trials or research, they can better appreciate that the physicians and the, and the specialists are all speaking the same language. I think the take home message is that our, we live in a very exciting time when it comes to technology and disease management. And as we move together, we've got to bring multiple experts together and we work better together by helping define medicine and the terms that we use to help move literature and move science forward.